Hello to all you PHP Storm users. My name's Daniel, and what you're about to watch is a brief demonstration of how easy it is to debug your applications in PHP Storm using Zen Server. You also get a taste of Zray, an innovative new technology that gives developers deep insights into how their code is running as they are developing it. To be able to follow the steps in this video, you'll need the following. First, a local installation of Zen Server 7. Second, the latest PHP Storm available. And third, the latest and greatest version of WordPress installed on the web root of your web server. So let's get started. What you're now looking at is the WordPress application installed as a project in PHP Storm. As an initial step, it's a good idea to make sure that the Zen debugger configurations are correct. In most cases, the default configurations will do just fine. So, opening the settings panel, I'm going to the PHP debug section. Verify that the debug port is correct and that the debugger is set to accept external connections. Next, we're going to make sure that PHP Storm is listening to PHP debug connections. This is done by clicking this button in the top right corner of the IDE. Great. Let's launch our app in a browser. And to right click the index.php file, select open in browser, and then choose Chrome. Our WordPress application is opened, and at the bottom of the page we can see Zray displayed. Now these flags are telling me something is clearly not quite right. Opening the monitor events panel, we see a list of three events that were triggered by our application. A Zen Server event is a collection of runtime related information collected by Zen Server according to conditions you define, which indicate that your PHP code isn't running the way you'd like it to. Looking for more info, I can open the event in the Zen Server UI to get specific information about the occurrence, such as when it happened, how many times it happened, and other details that can help you diagnose the event, including code tracing. Back in Zray, we can easily see that the PHP error and function error events are related to a file get contents function. Let's first deal with these issues and fix the slow request execution event later. Opening the errors and warnings panel, we get some more information, including the exact file and line number in our project we need to examine. So, in PHP Storm, I'm going to follow these directions and insert a breakpoint on the suggested line. From Zray, I'm going to start a debugging session by clicking the bug icon on the right and then selecting Debug Current Page. A debugging session is initiated in PHP Storm, stopping at the first line on the application's index.php file. Resuming the session, debugging stops at our defined breakpoints. And lo and behold, we can see that the file name variable is getting a null value. I'm going to insert another breakpoint on the line above and start another debugging session. Stepping into the expression, we can see the problematic function. Now, Let's go back to that slow request execution event we saw earlier and figure out why our application is experiencing performance issues. Opening the functions panel, we can see that the average execution time for the get header function is over 5 seconds. Again, Zero helps to pinpoint the piece of code we need to look at, which conveniently happens to be in the same function we looked at before. Let's just remove this piece of code and refresh the page. Profiling is just as easy, only this time we're going to select the profile option in Zray. It's that simple guys. The integration between PHP Storm with Zen Server and Zray gives you PHP Storm developers in context visibility allowing you to see how your code is running as you develop it and empowering you to deliver higher quality code faster.